Hi everyone, I'm Zi Xuan from Zhejiang University. Today, I will introduce our work, VDOM, Fast and Unlimited Virtual Domains on Multiple Architectures. Many processor manufacturers offer similar memory domain primitives for in-process isolation. Intel MPK is a representative. Each page table entry has a 4-bit tag. During address translation, the processor uses the 4-bit tag as an index to find the corresponding permission overlay in a newly introduced register called PKRU. By updating the permission register, the permissions for a page can be efficiently changed without updating the page tables. As listed, we summarize some present and future memory domain primitives of prevalent architectures and find they all provide only a few hardware domains for a process. ARM memory domain and the recently released permission indirection and overlay provide 16 domains, so is Intel MPK. IBM Power offers 32 domains. However, some applications may need more memory domains for finer grained privilege separation. For example, some applications depend on hundreds and thousands of packages. Even some relatively simple daily applications depend on more than 16 libraries in which vulnerabilities have been found. Besides, applications like Apache and MySQL serve many concurrent clients. The data, especially private keys and user secrets of different clients, should be separated into different isolation domains. Another scenario is that each unrelated memory object of in-memory databases can be protected by a unique domain. To solve the scalability issue, there are a few inspiring methods of virtualizing the efficient memory domain primitive. They fall into three categories. Hardware approaches are with five occupied 10 page table entry bits to create 1,024 domains. Unfortunately, according to the latest RISC 5 documentation, only seven bits are reserved. Domain virtualization for Intel intrusively changes the processor. Another direction is towards combining VMFunk and MPK. However, this incurs the virtualization overhead, only works on Intel processors, and changes both the guest OS and the hypervisor. The third type, the eviction-based approach, maps the recently used virtual domains to 16 physical domains. It emits the least recently used virtual domains by modifying the corresponding page table entries through mProtect. The domain virtualization suffers from busy waiting for available physical domains, excessive TLB shootdown, and maybe a large number of page table entry updates if the protected domain is large. To overcome the difficulties, we VDOM. Infinite domains, low performance overhead, and the practical and generic design are the key advantages of VDOM. To offer infinite yet efficient virtual domains, VDOM combines hardware memory domain, switching ASID tagged address spaces, and faster domain eviction by updating page tables. These generic hardware features are available on a large number of x86 and ARM processors. Now that each page table has a limited number of physical domains, fundamentally, VDOM maps virtual domains in multiple page tables. The application usually switches to another address space to access a virtual domain that is unmapped in the current page table. Conditionally, a domain virtualization algorithm evicts an old virtual domain in the current page table, expecting to achieve better performance. We introduce two kernel abstractions for VDOM, the per-process virtual domain metadata. 
it maintains the domain allocation bitmap. It also has a hierarchical structure similar to the page table to efficiently find all virtual memory areas of a given domain for efficient domain eviction. The virtual domain space describes a separate address space and it maintains the virtual to physical domain map. The context identifier and the CPU bitmap are also included in the data structure of virtual domain space. The former field is for ASID assignment and the latter field tracks processor cores containing the TLB entries of the address space. Our domain virtualization algorithm is the automatic decision maker when a virtual domain is unmapped in the current address space. It aims to balance the overhead between one optimized domain eviction and several potential address space switches. For example, the algorithm will try eviction if there are accessible virtual domains in the current address space or the unmapped domain is marked as a frequently accessed virtual domain through VDOM API. This is because we assume that the thread will access multiple domains across different address spaces repeatedly, and switching between those address spaces frequently is slower than one domain eviction. To further reduce the cycles of domain eviction, we come up with two ideas. First, we observe that TLB range flush is not always more efficient when the range is sufficiently large. Therefore, we keep a balance between full flush and range flush according to our experiment. Secondly, instead of invalidating 512 page table entries of a large chunk of evicted memory, we invalidate the page table from a higher level. Later, when the evicted domain needs remapping, the domain virtualization algorithm prefers to map that virtual domain to the same old physical domain. This strategy makes the best effort to avoid updating too many page table entries during eviction and remapping. Like MPK, VDOM for Intel securely and efficiently switches virtual domains in user space. In the kernel contact switch code, we update a per CPU structure showing the pointer of the virtual permission register for the thread and the domain map for the next thread to run. The per CPU structure is read only for a user space thread. In user space, during a virtual domain switch, the running thread can look up the domain map for the correct physical domain and update its own virtual permission register. To secure the API library, we exclusively use a physical domain, that is protection key one in MPK, to protect it. We also design a secure call gate to defeat arbitrary permission register update by control flow hijacking. For completeness of the design, we attempt to let VDOM be compatible with prevalent MPK sandboxes, which provide stack and heap isolation and defeat several kernel-based confused stackity attacks. At the start, our colgate is compatible. For P-trace-based sandboxes, VDOM naturally supports them because before and after every syscall, VDOM checks the related flags of a thread as usual. For sandboxes that also virtualize system resources, such as the endo kernel, the physical domain for the user space API library can also be assigned to the most privileged user space manager. Besides, to support signal virtualization in endo kernel, the virtual permission register should be saved and restored as a part of the signal context. Also, the physical permission register PKIU should be synchronized with the current domain map rather than simply restored in signal return. To evaluate the performance of VDOM, we monitor the cycles of domain switch in different scenarios. For example, the secure domain switch for Intel takes 104 cycles on a domain heap. If 
uh, virtual domain is unmapped in the current virtual domain space. An address space switch takes 583 cycles, and an eviction takes more than 1,000 cycles. We also measured the average cycles taken by switching between multiple memory domains and compared them with the result reported by EPK and LibMPK. For real-world applications, we protect the key structures in OpenSSL to enhance the Apache server. Specifically, we put each key structure in a virtual domain and run up to 48 concurrent clients that request files of different sizes. We observe that some functions in OpenSSL repeatedly access more than one key simultaneously. Therefore, domain eviction conditionally happens. The result shows a minimal performance overhead, but the memory overhead when serving 40 concurrent threads is at least about 20% because the smallest granularity of a memory domain is a 4 KB page. Another demo is the protected MySQL. We use one domain to protect the in-memory data and allocate a unique domain to each connection handler thread in order to separate clients. VDOM outperforms EPK and LibMPK as expected. For more details, please refer to our paper. Thanks for your listening. We are looking forward to your insightful comments on our work.